I think the thing that we're going to focus on today is audience and the way in which they thought about audience to begin with and uh, went to that audience to start with. In the case of Age of Stupid, the audience um, uh, that they went to funded the movie. Um, and then how they built that audience over time. In the case, case of Four-Eyed Monsters, they built their audience after the movie was done and in a variety of ways. And so both of them have, you know, learned a lot that they can share with us about audience and that I think it's relevant to all of you, whatever kinds of movies you're making. So Lizzie, tell us first about the, the UK premiere, how you dreamed that one up. Um, uh, going for the Guinness Book of Records as usual, um, what was the concept? <laughs> Okay, so the UK premiere, yes, um, we had that in March, and that was the, we got a new Guinness World Record for the largest ever simultaneous premiere, so we had a central eco premiere in Leicester Square in London, which is where the film premieres normally are in the big cinemas, but ours was in a tent in the middle of Leicester Square, completely powered by solar, um, we had a green carpet, and the celebrities and uh, film people arrive on bikes, and rickshaws, and solar-powered cars, so the whole central premiere only had 1% of the carbon emissions of a typical Hollywood-style premiere. And then it was held simultaneously, so the people across the UK, in their local cinema, they got the excitement of a premiere, a film premiere, and they had the green carpet, interviews, the kind of celebrity angle, and then after the film finished, we had a live panel discussion that was broadcast by satellite into all these cinemas, and that was kind of helping people with that question of what should I do when I see the film. Tell us about indie screenings and how that works. Okay, um, we've launched a new website and a kind of distribution system called Indie Screenings, which stands for Independent Screenings, and it means that anyone, anywhere can hold a screening of our film um, wherever they want, and they can keep the profits, which is what makes it kind of unique. Um, we've written this uh, bespoke kind of database. It uses an algorithm behind the website, so it calculates the license fee according to three criteria their organization, like are they a kind of non-profit um, and it's very cheap or are they like a big multinational company, it's very expensive, um, the number of people that they're going to view it to and the venue, because if it's in a cinema and they're charging tickets, then it should be quite expensive. Um, so essentially, you know, anyone can go on that website, they can figure out the license fee, they get the DVD for two days, they have to send it back and it's just got the film, it's not got any extras on it, so it's just a screening disc. And we've just launched that globally um, a couple of days ago. The good thing about making money through you know, your own system like this is that literally there is no middleman. It's in our PayPal account. And at the moment, every day we're getting, you know, I don't know, a thousand pounds or somewhere near that of people all around the world are booking these screenings and each one is a hundred pounds or some of them, the highest we've had is I think about two thousand pounds for one screening and the lowest it goes, well, now that we're global, it's complicated because in India and places like that, it has to be really cheap. Otherwise, it's not fair. So I think the cheapest is like a couple of pounds kind of thing. You know, one of the secrets of the success of this team is Franny's newsletter. So just say a word about that, Lizzie, if you would. Well, it's, it's our mailing list, you know, and she writes it and she's um, very funny and they give all the latest news from the film and people do actually love getting them. Like I said, they're, they're very long, sometimes too long. But the number of people that make it to the bottom and, and the kind of response that they generate, is it's pretty inspiring, really. So do you have a sense of how large the mailing list is at this point? It's not that big. It's like 20,000 people or something. That's pretty big, Lizzie. Is it? Okay. <laughs> Maybe not for you guys, but um, that's big for other people. Um, okay. So we want to thank you for interrupting your, your Saturday night and, and being with <laughs> us. And, and can we all give Lizzie a round of applause? So, thanks, guys. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>